Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video we will learn web to case in Salesforce. In that we will see what is web to case, how to generate web to case form and how to create case records from website. In previous video we have seen web to lead. So web to lead and web to case is very similar. In both we create HTML files and that HTML files we run on the browser. From that we can generate case and leads record. So what is web to case in Salesforce? In Salesforce, the web to case features allows us to create our own website so that the customer can raise issues or inquiries directly from our website. When customer raise queries from the website, the records automatically get saved or record get automatically created in case object in Salesforce. So which feature include in web to case? In web to case, we create a web form. In that form, we can add required case fields. In those fields, customer can fill details and queries. When customer submit the web form, their information gets saved in the case object in the org and the Salesforce sends a response email to the customer regarding the same. Then our support team can see those records, then they manage them and respond to the customers. Now what we will do? We need to enable web to case settings, then we need to set default case origin that means there is a field in a case object named as a case origin. In web to case setting, that default case origin should be web only. Then we need to add at a response email template so that when customer submit the case form, that time at a response email should be sent to the customers. Then we need to generate web to case in Salesforce. In that what we need to do, we need to add the case fields in that form and then we can create HTML form so that we can run on the browser. So without any delay. Let's jump to the org. So this is Salesforce homepage. Now in the quick find box, search for the web to case. Here you can see under the service option, you will see web to case and then web to case HTML generator. First, we need to enable the settings for that click on web to case. Then here you can see here I already uh, enabled this. So what you need to do, you need to enable web to case first. Then default case origin here you can see this is a pick list value here you need to select web value so that when the case will generated from the web form that the default case origin field value in the record web only here we need to select the default response template that means as we click on that you can search support or you can also create your own template or you can also create your own template that custom template so that you can customize your own uh, text template here here you can see support case response this is the stand this is a standard email template i am clicking on that then and simply click on save button now we need to create html form for that click on web to case html generator as you click on it here you can see capture cases by default contact name, email, phone, subject and description field will be available in the selected fields. So you can remove default fields by clicking on remove button and then and you can also add the necessary fields that you want to the form. Here I am adding status then priority and you will see here is no case origin field to select. Even if you don't select the case origin when we create the case records in the org you will see the case origin field will be there the value by default web because in the web to case setting we have selected the by default value web for that here is no case origin field so in the selected fields you can rearrange the fields for example i am removing the phone it's not necessary to me and selecting the company now I want company field on the top so you can click on up up button moving ahead here you can see enter the URL that the user will be returned to when the customer submits the form after the submission on which website it should redirect it. So here I am selecting uh, google.com and here we don't need recaptcha so I am deselecting this then click on a generate button. As you click on a generate button, you will see the HTML text. So what you need to do, you need to copy all the text. Here I am copying this. 
control C and then click on finish button now what you need to do you need to paste this copied email form notepad or VS code whatever you referred I am pasting this copied HTML text and then save this text with the HTML extension here I am saving web to case form then dot html click on save now here you can see web to case now here you can see web to case html form and this type is chrome html document so i am opening this double click on it and here you can see the selected fields displayed over here with order that we have arranged now here i am entering the details company name i am entering age communications then status then select the status new priority high then enter email here i am entering my own email so that i can show you the received email from salesforce then enter the subject here i am entering testing web to lead web to case sorry description then click on the submit button as you click on submit button you will see the google website has opened go to the records now navigate to the case records click on case object then in the list view then in the list view all open cases and and then as you click on the first case you will see subject testing web to case then case number is automatically generated then the web email which i have entered my own the case status is new priority is high and even we didn't select the case origin by default the case origin value is web this is how we can create case record from web to case now as you scroll down here you will see the at a response email has sent to the customer here you can see just now i will also show you on the gmail also if you don't get message in the inbox you can you can search also in the spam message also as i open this email you will see with testing web to case subject i got an email so this is all about web to case i hope you have got an idea what is web to case how to enable it and how to generate web to case form so that we can create case records from website also if you like the video hit the like button subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get regular updates thank you